Praise God. Welcome to your program, Abundant Grace Hour. Welcome to this week. Stretch forth your hand and let me release prophetic blessing over your life for this week. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare to your life that this week, God Almighty will make way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. God promises, he said, I will bring forth rivers from desert. Say, I will make way in the wilderness where you least expect way. God Almighty will make way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be testimony. That test you are going through, you will pass and it shall lead to testimony. I declare to your life for the remaining part of this month of September, God Almighty will make this September a September to remember for good in your life, in your destiny, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Grace to go for it again. God Almighty will give to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I want to welcome you back to this week. We started this series of teaching on, you know, common mistakes most people make about money. And we've gone through it from mistake number one to 20. And this week, by God's special grace, we will be rounding off this series and we'll start another one. Okay, we'll start another one. Same topic on money. Why do we have to talk about money? Because most Christians, most believers think and they have this mindset that money is evil. No, money is not evil. It's the love of money that is the root of all evil. But let me tell you something. Even lack of money could be a root of all evil or most evil. So today we're going to be continuing our mistake number 21. Measuring your life by material things only. When you are measuring your life with material things alone, then it is a money mistake. You are supposed to be a six o'clock kind of Christian. And what does that mean? The short end supposed to be on six and the long end supposed to be on 12. That is, you are less focusing on this earth but you are more focusing on the life afterward. You are more focusing on the kingdom of God. You are more focusing on the life after you die. Bible says it is appointed to man to die once, but after that, it is judgment. So the question is, if you die today, where will you spend your eternity? So measuring your life based on material things alone is money mistake. What is mistake number 22? Making your financial well-being depend on others is a big money mistake. What does that mean? Over 80% of the population depends on others for their financial well-being. For example, as an employee, thank God for that job. I mean, this is what we teach our members and this is what I have been saying and this is what I'm very passionate about. Yes, you get a job. Praise the Lord for it. But know very well that that job, J-O-B, is good enough to just put food on your table. In fact, some jobs are not even good enough to put food on your table. Uh, by the virtue of uh, what I do in the business world, I have privilege of talking and discussing with so many people. It doesn't matter what kind of profession, whether you're a doctor, engineer, or programmer, it doesn't really matter. As long as somebody is writing your paycheck, okay, <laughs> paycheck, then you, uh, you, you need to reposition yourself. Yes, thank God for that job, as I said, but you need something extra. When you are praying that God bless the work of my hand, God is answering your prayer and God is blessing the work of your hand. That is why that place you are working at 
you know, keeps booming. But what happens to your paycheck? Maybe in a year, they just add a quarter or one dollar maximum. But when you have a set aside business, investment, something, I mean, we grow, we're talking about all those. Then when you are praying to God, bless the work of my hand, then you see the evident mani manifestation of it. You know, I searched through the scripture from, you know, Genesis to Revelation. I, the word J-O-B that I found is just a name of a man and called Job. Bible always talks about the work of your hand. The work of your hand. The work of your hand. Yes, if you think the job is your work of your hand, praise the Lord for it. But you need something that you can say, this is my home. I pray that God Almighty will secure you, will secure your source of income, will secure your job in the mighty name of Jesus. But what happened? If you got fired today, what will you fall back to? I believe this message is for somebody watching this or listening to this right now. God has been releasing some ideas on your brain, into your life, into your mind. And all you have to do is just take step, overcome that fear and get started. Okay, you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great. Mistake number 23. As we begin to round off, lack of open-mindedness. Someone says that the test of an educated person is an ability to be able to take an idea, measure that idea, and see if it will better your life. Most educated people, most you know, learned people, most literate people are not open-minded. You know. Uh, by the virtue of what I do as a network marketer, apart from being a minister of the gospel, uh, over the years, I don't find it easy sponsoring people like engineers, accountants, lawyers, you know, uh, doctors into my businesses. Why? Because they do what is called analysis by paralysis. They will analyze why that thing will not succeed. Most people spend more time talking about why that thing will not work. But have you ever taken your time to look into why will it work? Okay, like of recent now, there is this boom here, you know, a uh, buzz about a cryptocurrency. And I was having a conversation with somebody uh, just last week. I said, I don't know, that is scam, that is what Antichrist will use. Yeah, if Antichrist uses cryptocurrency, <laughs> would that stop you from getting involved right now? So, Lack of open-mindedness is a money mistake because you are just an idea. You are just an idea, one idea away from that next level that you have been trusting God for. And God can use anybody from any area, from any angle to release that idea into your life. And ability to take that idea, okay? Just for example, you are watching this video right now three things will be going on in your life. It's either you are saying, what is this pastor saying? What is a man saying? What are you talking about? Or you take a minute, you pause, and you look into all these messages that God has been sending across your path through me because I am sent for you. I am sent because of you. And you take a look at this message and you say, wow, I think this is for me. And you begin to analyze it. You begin to to see how you will take step. Or you can just say, you know what? Listen to this message, watch this message, and do practically nothing. It's either of those three. This world is made of three set of people. Some people watch things happen, some people make things happen, and some people don't even know that anything is happening. But you are privileged to be listening to this message, the message that will change your life if you take action. Enough of we Christians just receiving laying of hand. You are blessed in Jesus' name. You are a millionaire in Jesus' name. But we take no action. So now, God wants to take you to the next level of your life. But you have to take that bold step. God told Joshua, all you need to do is just to be bold and to be courageous. I release grace to be courageous and to be bold. To take that step in the mighty name of Jesus. And as you begin to take steps, Following this teaching, God Almighty will crown your effort with good success. In Jesus' mighty name, 
we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are blessed with this ministration, click like below, leave your comment, or share this video with your loved ones. That could be a blessing to somebody. God bless you, and I will see you next week. Wow! I believe you've been mightily blessed from today's ministration. It's my prayer for you that your blessings will remain permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. We would love to hear your testimony. Please send an email to us on info at rccgage.org. And you can also share on our Facebook fan page. Please follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you near in our neighborhood? And we would love to just have you worship with us. We are located at 3226 Pioneer Road. Suit C, Bar Springs, Texas, 75180. Telephone number 214 960 1010. If you are nearby, we provide transportation to church. We can pick you up at your location. Just call us or shoot us an email or send us text message. We'll be glad to have you worship with us. Are you there? And God is leading you to support this ministry. I mean to support this social media ministry. We want to reach out to many people. We want to reach out to many followers. We want to reach out to many audience. Your donation will be highly appreciated. And I know that God of heaven will bless you for it in Jesus' name. So please visit our website www.rccgage.org forward slash donation. You can donate through PayPal, you can donate with either credit or debit card. You can even mail us your check to the address that I have given uh, before. And you can also <laughs> donate with Bitcoin. We accept most of the major cryptocurrency. God bless you as you do this in the mighty name of Jesus. Until next time on this program, Abundant Grace Hour, remember that is grace is sufficient for you. Amen.